In the early hours of Wednesday, May 30th, at precisely 5.30 a.m., Dr. Michael White, who serves as the director of the Harris County Animal Shelter located in the bustling city of Houston, Texas, turned on his television. What greeted him was a live broadcast from the local news station, showing the very facility he managed. The entrance was securely locked, a reminder of the night's stillness. The shelter had recently been thrust into the spotlight over the Memorial Day weekend, as it had received an overwhelming influx of more than 200 dogs and cats surrendered by their owners within a mere span of three days, that particular morning. A news crew from KHOU 11 News stumbled upon a distressing scene right outside the gates of the Harris County Shelter, broadcasted for all to see was a large white dog, her fur shining under the streetlights, bound to the shelter's fence with a hefty metal chain. Despite her predicament, she greeted the approaching figures with a smile and a wagging tail. I was catching up on the local news when I noticed Janelle, the reporter, Standing outside our facility, Dr. White recounted to the dodo, she was reporting on this dog she discovered, chained to our front gate early in the morning, moved by the scene and the dog's plight, Dr. White quickly sprang into action, he dressed hastily and embarked on the 45-minute journey to the shelter. Upon arrival, it was clear that the dog, which was a two-year-old lab mix and subsequently named Janelle. In honor of the reporter, was in relatively good condition, despite suffering from a flea infestation and testing positive for heartworm, further examination of Janelle, however, unveiled a surprising discovery, an x-ray revealed that she was not alone, she was pregnant with ten puppies, as her pregnancy progressed, her belly grew so large that it nearly touched the ground as she moved about her kennel, given that Janelle was only a week or two away from giving birth, Dar, White recognized the urgency of finding her a calm and secure environment away from the shelter, being an avid supporter of fostering dogs in dire need, Dr. White knew he was the ideal candidate to provide Janelle with the care she required, despite already having two dogs of his own and two other foster dogs, he decided to take Janelle into his home, I just couldn't bear the thought of her staying in the shelter under those conditions, Dr. White explained, the notion of her giving birth there was something I couldn't. Stand, in DR, White's loving care, Janelle thrived, quickly becoming a cherished member of his family, her affectionate nature shone through as she sought out lap cuddles, undeterred by her size of 65 to 70 pounds however, a few days after settling into her new environment, Janelle's demeanor shifted, DR, White noticed her appetite wane, and upon returning home from work on June 12, he could tell she was uneasy and possibly in discomfort, something was definitely happening that evening, Dr. White observed, I had hoped she would give birth during the day, but it seemed fate had other plans, little did Janelle know, she had found herself in the care of someone with three decades of veterinary practice and countless deliveries under his belt. When the first signs of labor began around 8.50 p.m., Dr. White prepared to assist Janelle through her delivery, confident in his extensive experience. It didn't take long for him to come to the realization that he, alongside his wife, would be embarking on a lengthy vigil. I tend to err on the side of caution more than necessary, but it's crucial for me to ensure that everything proceeds without a hitch for each newborn, White remarked. He detailed how he and his wife devoted their entire night to support the birthing process, we were there by her side through every birth, White recounted, he vividly remembered the moment when, at 3.36 a.m., they welcomed the tenth puppy and believed the ordeal was over, however, to their surprise, the eleventh puppy made its entrance into the world at 6.05 a.m., the night was exhaustive for White, his wife, and Janelle, their dog, despite their efforts to work in shifts, every little sound had them on their feet, anxiously checking the pen, we barely managed to snatch an hour of sleep, broken up into short bursts throughout that night, White added. Their tireless dedication was rewarded the following morning with the sight of eleven vigorous puppies alongside their weary mother, Janelle, having been assisted in the delivery, now confidently took over the care of her litter, 
White described the chaotic yet endearing scenes at feeding times, with puppies jostling for a spot, their squeals filling the air, he noticed how Janelle would gently guide the smaller ones to the side for a chance to feed without the competition, she's diligent about keeping the pen immaculate, White praised, admiring Janelle's maternal instincts. Once the puppies are weaned, plans are in place for Janelle's Spain. And her subsequent search for a permanent home, White confidently expressed that Janelle would make an exceptional pet, commending her friendly nature, pleasing appearance, and loving disposition towards everyone, he was pleased to report that both Janelle and her puppies were thriving under her attentive care, with plans for the puppy's adoption once weaning is complete, in a separate but equally heartwarming story. A breeding program 15 years in the making witnessed a remarkable event as Zola. A black Labrador, gave birth to a litter of puppies showcasing a rare blend of yellow, chocolate, and black coats within the same litter, this unique occurrence, which has only been documented a few times before, was the result of dedicated breeding efforts by Tina Davis, 62, and her husband Martin Davis, 63, they began their journey into breeding with a chocolate lab in 2006. Culminating in this extraordinary litter of 10 puppies, the diverse colors of the pups are not only a testament to the couple's commitment to their breeding program but also a rare marvel in the world of Labradors, in the picturesque town of Horsham, West Sussex, a dedicated couple embarked on a fascinating journey with their Labrador retrievers, blending the genetics of yellow, chocolate, and black labs, their meticulous planning and strategic breeding efforts were supported by the expertise of Wyland Bria Kennels and its proprietor. Diana Stevens, aged 47, together, they nurtured a lineage of studs capable of producing a diverse litter that encompasses all three classic Labrador colors on the memorable date of October 18, their efforts culminated in the birth of ten delightful puppies, two yellow, three chocolate and five black, each of these puppies, even before they had grown, found their forever homes, where they are cherished and loved, Tina, a retired hotelier with a profound affection for dogs, shared her journey into the world of Labrador breeding, it began with a desire to challenge the stereotypes surrounding chocolate labs capabilities as gun dogs, through careful selection and breeding, not only did they aim to enhance the working abilities of these dogs but also to celebrate the beauty of their diverse coats, the goal was to produce offspring capable of carrying all three color genes, a milestone they have recently achieved, breeding Labradors with the ability to produce all three colors is rare, requiring a specific genetic makeup, more importantly, the health and well. Being of the puppies are paramount, as Labradors are prone to various genetic issues, the couple's dedication to health and temperament, alongside coat color, has set a high standard in breeding practices, the conception of this unique litter was made possible through Zola, impregnated by a specially selected black Labrador named Rox 3, owned by Diana, Rox 3 carried the essential genes for all three colors. The anticipation for this litter was high, with Tina and her husband hoping it would fulfill their long-held dream, despite the potential for high earnings. With Labrador puppies fetching up to 3,500 pounds in the market, Tina's priority was the well-being and accessibility of these dogs to loving families, thus choosing to offer them at a more affordable price, this decision underscores their commitment to the dogs' futures rather than financial gain, unfortunately. Zola faced complications during delivery, requiring a C-section. This experience led Tina to decide that Zola would not breed again, however, the silver lining is that half of the puppies carry the genetic potential to continue this remarkable lineage, offering hope for future breeding endeavors. Tina plans to breed one of Zola's daughters, allowing for further exploration of color combinations in their litters, Tina expressed immense satisfaction with their success, emphasizing their focus on the dog's well-being and happiness over monetary gain. This ethos resonates with their decision to ensure the puppies find genuine, loving homes, in a related but distressing event.
An animal charity encountered a shocking situation with a dog abandoned just hours before giving birth to 12 puppies, this incident starkly contrasts the love and care Tina and her husband devote to their Labradors, highlighting the importance of responsible pet ownership and breeding practices. The tale of Darla, a Stratfordshire Bull Terrier, is one of resilience and compassion. After her owners faced eviction with nowhere to go, Darla's future seemed bleak, potentially facing life on them. Streets while heavily pregnant, however, fortune smiled upon her when the Ipswich-based animal charity, Blue Cross, opened its doors to her on October 10, offering her a haven just in time, merely two days following her arrival at the sanctuary, the staff were astounded as Darla, a mere one-year-old, gave birth to an impressive litter of 12 puppies, this event marked a record for the Blue Cross Rehoming Center. Witnessing its largest litter ever, the dedicated team, led by Animal Welfare. Assistant Bradley Tuvel is now committed to finding loving homes for each of these puppies by Christmas, Bradley Tuvel shared the heartfelt story of how the charity could not turn a blind eye to Darla's plight, fully aware that she was on the brink of labor and without shelter due to her owner's unfortunate circumstances. The charity's timely intervention meant Darla and her newborns were spared the harshness of street life. Darla, despite her small size, showed immense strength, and the charity staff have been tirelessly supporting her, especially given the large number of mouths to feed, this includes bottle feeding the puppies and ensuring Darla herself is nourished and energized through hand feeding the puppies, equally divided between males and females have been given celestial names, adding a whimsical touch to their incredible start in life, in a parallel act of kindness, Stavoni Wells Doyle, with over a decade of experience in fostering dogs, shares a similarly. Touching story, Gracie, a two-year-old pit bull, was rescued by Stavoni through the Utah-based rescue organization Rovers, in a surprising turn of events, Gracie, a first-time mother, displayed an extraordinary gesture of trust and affection towards Stavoni by placing her newborn litter of 11 puppies on her lap, one by one, this act of bonding was something Stavoni had never experienced before. Despite her extensive background in fostering over 100 dogs, Gracie's behavior underscored a profound desire for reassurance and love, not just for her pups but for herself as well. Stavoni views her connection with pregnant dogs as uniquely rewarding and intends to continue providing love and care to dogs like Gracie. Both stories, heartwarming in their essence, underscore the incredible bond between humans and dogs, highlighting the lengths to which individuals and organizations will go to ensure the safety and well-being of these loyal companions, from the dedicated efforts at Blue Cross to the personal commitment of individuals like Stavoni Wells Doyle, these narratives showcase the beauty of compassionate rescue and the joy of providing forever homes to animals in need a close associate of Stavoni, along with a representative from the rescue organization, shared on Reddit some insightful details about the use of minimalistic spaces, often referred to as, bare rooms. For the birthing and early life stages of puppies, this approach is adopted due to the young canine's inability to control their bodily functions adequately, making it impractical to allow them to roam freely throughout the house, unless, of course, one has floors made entirely of concrete and doesn't mind the frequent need for cleaning, beyond the concerns of mess, there are also safety considerations for both the puppies and any young children in the home. A practical and commonly employed solution to manage the birthing process is the use of a plastic swimming pool, this not only helps contain the mess but also provides a comfortable space for the mother dog during labor, with towels and sheets added for extra comfort, this setup offers a retreat for the mother when she needs respite from her demanding offspring, as the puppies grow and start showing signs of independence, usually around the time they master basic potty training, they are introduced to more extensive areas of the home. The journey towards independence from their mother includes milestones such as being old enough for spaying or neutering, eventually, when ready, they are put up for adoption through Red Rover, following a policy that ensures puppies are gradually rehomed from 8 weeks old, 
to prevent causing distress to the mother by removing her litter all at once, it's important to understand that puppies undergo a significant adjustment when they leave their litter for new homes, spending their initial nine weeks closely bonded with their littermates. This separation can be confusing and lonely for them, even. Though as they grow older, they may not retain recognition of their siblings, the attachment levels between mother dogs and their puppies can vary greatly, some mothers are highly interactive and play a significant role in socializing their puppies, while others may adopt a more hands-off approach as the puppies grow, typically, a mother dog's active involvement with her puppies decreases as they grow older. Aligning with the puppy's development and increasing independence, by around six weeks. The mother may spend significant time away from her litter, a trend that continues as the puppies age, the critical transition from being dependent on their mother to becoming more independent generally occurs around seven weeks, challenging the widely held belief that eight weeks is the optimal time for rehoming. The dynamics of the puppy's relationships also shift around this time. With sibling bonds becoming more central to their social interactions than their bond with their mother. Interestingly, when separated littermates reunite, their initial excitement gradually diminishes over time, and the same is true for reunions between puppies and their mother. In scenarios where a mother might inadvertently harm her puppies, interventions such as using a muzzle have been suggested, although this requires careful management to maintain cleanliness since the mother won't be able to do so. Closed supervision is advised to prevent accidents without necessarily removing the puppies from their mother, as their recognition of each other is strongly influenced by scent, the decision to separate puppies from their mother due to concerns of harm should be carefully considered, with an understanding of the natural behaviors and needs of the dogs. For those seeking guidance on enhancing the bond between their pets and newborns, consulting with a veterinarian can offer valuable insights. It's widely recognized that infants across various species emit a unique scent during their early stages of life, distinguishing them from adults. This distinct aroma is not just a marker of youth but serves as a signal to animals, indicating the infant's vulnerability in non-threatening nature. Such cues often trigger an innate protective instinct among animals, particularly in domesticated pets like dogs. The connection between dogs and human infants is particularly profound. Dogs possess an incredible ability to discern that the baby belongs to their owner, this recognition is pivotal because dogs are inherently driven to please their owners. By safeguarding the child, whom they perceive as a mini-owner, dogs aim to maintain their owner's happiness. This behavior underscores the deep-seated loyalty and affection dogs have towards their human families. I once had the opportunity to witness the enduring bonds dogs can form with their families through the experience of reuniting a female dog with her owners after her second litter. Despite being excited to reunite with me and her familiar canine companions, her reaction towards her three puppies that I had kept was notably indifferent, however, her joy was unmistakable when her new family returned to pick her up, this scenario beautifully illustrates the capacity of dogs to form strong attachments to their human families cherishing their time with them above all, this heartwarming narrative serves as a testament to the special relationships that can develop between dogs and their human families. It's a reminder of the joy and loyalty pets bring into our lives. I encourage all dog enthusiasts to share this inspiring story with fellow pet lovers. After watching this story, what do you think of? Then there is an another story about dog, Let's expect what will happen in the cozy and joyful home of the Carlson family. The atmosphere was always filled with laughter, particularly when their five-month-old son, Michael, and their devoted Yorkshire Terrier, Willie, were together. These two were inseparable, with Willie demonstrating an unwavering loyalty and vigilance towards Michael's every need. It seemed like any other day when Mrs. Carlson, from her vantage point, admired her son playing amidst a sea of vibrant toys, with Willie faithfully by his side, ensuring the baby's safety and comfort on this particular day, after enjoying his nourishing bottle of milk, Michael became noticeably sleepy, this was a natural consequence of his active morning. 
filled with exploratory play, which rightfully warranted a peaceful nap, however, this development seemed to disappoint Willie, who was looking forward to their routine playtime despite his eagerness to engage, Michael, displaying an exceptional level of mobility for his age, crawled to a cozy corner to give in to his drowsiness, this early crawling ability was partly due to Willie's playful encouragement, constantly enticing Michael with colorful toys, thus fostering his physical development much to his parents' amazement and pride, as Michael drifted into sleep's gentle embrace, Willie emitted a soft bark, a futile attempt to revive their play, this sound caught Mrs. Carlson's attention, prompting her to check on the duo approaching the room with a mix of curiosity and concern, she was met with an unexpected and heartwarming scene, Michael lay on the soft carpet, vulnerable to the cool winter air without the comfort of a blanket, her initial instinct was to wrap him up and place him in his crib, but Willie's antics caught her eye, making her pause to observe further. Unbeknownst to Mrs. Carlson, Willie was on a heartwarming mission moved by a deep-seated instinct to protect and care for his young friend, Willie was determined to ensure Michael's comfort, Mrs. Carlson watched, hidden from view, as Willie showcased an extraordinary display of compassion and ingenuity. This episode not only highlighted the unique bond between Michael and Willie but also demonstrated the remarkable intuition and empathy animals can exhibit towards humans, especially those they consider part of their pack or family, the Carlson household was once again reminded of the incredible connection that can exist between a child and their pet, solidifying Willie's role as not just a pet, but a cherished and invaluable member of the family, Mrs. Carlson observed Wiley's actions with a sense of anticipation, tinged with worry, each step he took seemed to be part of a mysterious agenda, leaving her heart racing with a blend of curiosity and concern, she couldn't help but fear for the safety of her sleeping son, silently praying that Wiley's intentions were benign, to her utter bewilderment, it appeared as though Wiley was acutely aware of Michael's need for additional warmth and comfort as he slept, moving through the room with a purposeful grace, Wiley's sharp eyes roamed, seeking something that could offer comfort to his young friend, then, to Mrs. Carlson's sheer astonishment. Wiley discovered an abandoned piece of fabric not far away, without a moment's hesitation, he carefully picked it up with his mouth, treating it as if it were a treasured find, Mrs. Carlson could only stare in wonder as Wiley made his way toward the peacefully sleeping Michael, the fabric hanging from his mouth as if it were a sacred offering, her astonishment turned to profound admiration when she witnessed Wiley gently draping the fabric over her son, maneuvering it tenderly with his nose to ensure it wrapped around Michael snugly, providing both warmth and comfort, this act of Unexpected compassion deeply touched her heart, compelling her to silently gesture for her husband, Mr. Carlson, to come and witness the heartwarming scene that was unfolding in their midst, rushing into the room, Mr. Carlson arrived just in time to see Wiley display an astonishing level of finesse, using his small mouth to make fine adjustments to the fabric. Making absolutely certain that Michael was comfortably cocooned, the sight before them was a poignant reminder of the pure, unspoken bond. Between their child and Wiley, filling the room with a sense of warmth and love that was truly palpable, while Mr. Carlson observed Willie leaving his head exposed to the air to breathe more comfortably, he was deeply moved by the dog's tender care towards Michael, this act of selflessness filled him with an immense sense of pride and stirred his emotions profoundly, unable to let this precious moment slip away, Mr. Carlson instinctively reached for his phone to record the tender scene unfolding. Before his eyes, unbeknownst to him, he was about to document a moment of pure warmth and affection that would resonate with countless hearts worldwide when Willie finished adjusting the cloth around him, he performed an act of remarkable kindness, with delicate attention, he snuggled up to Michael, gently resting his small head against the baby's chest. This was not just an act of seeking warmth but a profound expression of love and compassion, such a gesture left Mr. and Mrs. Carlson utterly moved, their emotions spilling over as tears cascaded down their faces, in that moment, 
they shared a look of deep gratitude, silently acknowledging the boundless love and affection their furry friend had for their son. Compelled by the magnitude of this heartwarming interaction between Willie and Michael, Mr. Carlson felt an irresistible urge to share it with the world, he uploaded the video to social media, accompanied by a touching caption that sang praises of Willie's steadfast loyalty and deep love for their son, little did he anticipate the ripple effect this simple act of sharing would create, the video quickly caught fire on the internet, spreading rapidly across various social media platforms, in no time, it amassed thousands of likes, shares, and comments from people across the globe, the unique bond between Willie and Michael struck a chord with viewers. Resonating with anyone who had ever felt the unconditional love of a pet as the video reached viral status, it not only showcased the incredible connection between humans and animals but also highlighted the depth of compassion and loyalty pets possess. It served as a beautiful reminder of the significant role animals play in our lives, bringing joy, companionship, and unconditional love into our homes, for the Carlson family. The widespread popularity of the video was a testament to how Willie, who had entered their lives in an unexpected manner, had quickly become an indispensable part of their family, they reflected on the journey that had led them to this point, recalling the anticipation and love they felt for Michael even before his birth, they had believed it impossible to love anyone as much as they loved their child or for anyone to love their baby as much as they did, yet, Fate had a delightful surprise in store for them, showcasing the depth of affection and care that Willie, their beloved pet, had for their son, enriching their family's life beyond measure. Winter had made its arrival known with a frigid chill that seemed to seep through even the insulated walls of their warm, inviting apartment, the cold this year. Was more biting than they had anticipated, sending relentless shivers down their spines despite layering up in warm clothing, Mr. Carlson, particularly concerned about his pregnant wife's comfort and well-being during this harsh season, realized that it was crucial to take additional measures to ensure she stayed warm and cozy, after all, she was nurturing their unborn child, a responsibility he referred to as carrying precious cargo, together, they contemplated enhancing their heating system. By incorporating extra space heaters into their living space, aiming to create a snug sanctuary away from the winter's icy clasp with a firm resolve, Mr. Carlson embarked on a mission to acquire an additional space heater for their abode. As he journeyed, his thoughts momentarily drifted when he noticed something stirring near the roadside, redirecting his focus. He spotted a small creature navigating the snow-blanketed terrain, although unsure of its species, his curiosity was momentarily peaked. Nonetheless, he quickly refocused on his primary objective, dismissing the sighting as he pressed on towards his destination, fueled by the urgency to ensure his wife's comfort. Upon arriving at the store, Mr. Carlson efficiently selected the ideal space heaters for their home, completing his purchase promptly. He was eager to bring back the equipment that would help shield his beloved wife from the winter's relentless chill, the store reassured him by arranging for a technician to install the heater the following day, along with offering maintenance services to guarantee its optimal performance, content with his procurement, Mr. Carlson left the store, making his way back to his vehicle with a heart full of satisfaction, he ignited the engine, embarking on the return journey home, oblivious to the intriguing encounter that awaited him, when he neared a familiar sharp curve on the road. His attention was once again captured by the animal he had observed earlier, driven by curiosity, he decelerated his vehicle for a better look, pondering over the identity of the creature that dared to endure the wintry elements. As Mr. Carlson approached, his heart plummeted into a well of shock and sorrow, confronted by the harrowing scene before him, amid the stark, unforgiving landscape of winter, a small Yorkshire Terrier stood its brown fur tangled and coated with a layer of frost, trembling violently in the biting cold, initially mistaking the figure for a mere rodent in. His peripheral vision, Mr. Carlson hadn't given it much thought, however, 
He was now faced with a reality far more heartrending, a tiny dog, abandoned, facing the cruel indifference of the cold alone, the sight pierced his heart with a profound sense of anguish for the hapless creature, evidently in dire need of warmth and shelter, compelled by an overwhelming sense of empathy, Mr. Carlson's resolve hardened. The urgency to return to the warmth of his own home and family momentarily faded into the background, overshadowed by the immediate necessity to intervene on behalf of the forlorn animal, with a sense of purpose, he brought his vehicle to a halt and, with a resolve born of compassion, stepped out into the cold to aid the frightened dog, drawing closer, Mr. Carlson noted the palpable fear in the dog's eyes, its small body instinctively recoiling, perceiving him as a potential threat, yet, it was evident that exhaustion and weakness overpowered its will to flee, possibly a result of enduring untold adversities during its time abandoned in the frigid streets, recognizing the critical need to earn the dog's trust, Mr. Carlson advanced slowly, his voice soft and soothing, each step a silent promise of his intentions to help, not harm, the closer Mr. Carlson got, the more the dog's pitiful state became apparent, the animal was emaciated, its body frail, a clear testament to prolonged neglect and abandonment, its fur, once perhaps a vibrant testament to its breed, was now matted and filthy, every rib stark against its skin as he gently caressed its quivering body, the realization that this dog had been surviving alone, battling the elements in a desperate bid for life, weighed heavily on Mr. Carlson's heart, despite its initial trepidation, the dog seemed to intuit Mr. Carlson's genuine concern, its wary eyes gradually imbued with a cautious glimmer of hope, Indiana those eyes. Mr. Carlson discerned not just a plea for survival, but a deep yearning for affection and care, moved beyond hesitation, he committed to answer that silent call for salvation, with utmost care, Mr. Carlson lifted the fragile creature into the passenger seat of his car, acutely aware of its delicate condition, concerned for its immediate needs, he searched his car for anything that might offer the dog some relief and found some treats offering them to the dog. He watched as its eyes brightened with a spark of gratitude, the treats disappearing eagerly into its mouth, witnessing this. Simple act of trust and gratefulness, Mr. Carlson felt an even deeper connection to the small being whose life had irrevocably touched his own, reinforcing his spontaneous decision to extend kindness in a world that had shown it so little. In the midst of its adversity, there was an undeniable resilience and a heartwarming sweetness within the creature that deeply moved Mr. Carlson. Little could he have anticipated that this dog would evolve into an indispensable member of their household. Infusing their lives with unparalleled joy, love, and companionship in ways beyond their wildest dreams, upon arriving home with his newfound companion, his wife wholeheartedly embraced the small dog, welcoming it with open arms, the couple lavished Willie with boundless love and care, delighting in how swiftly he adapted to their affection, his playful and loving demeanor brightly emerging, within a mere span of days. Willie had seamlessly woven himself into the fabric of their family life. Becoming a source of constant joy and laughter within their household when baby Mikey made his entrance into the world, Willie effortlessly assumed the role of the most devoted guardian and companion the Carlsons could have wished for their child. The depth of Willie's affection for Michael was a heartwarming spectacle, clearly indicating that Willie had discovered his rightful place within their family circle. The Carlsons were overjoyed to have him as part of their lives, their initial acts of kindness towards him were now being reciprocated in his unwavering loyalty and affection towards their son, it was as if the universe had conspired in the most beautiful and mysterious ways to bring them together, observing Willie's playful interactions with their son reaffirmed their conviction that adopting him was among the best decisions they had ever made. Willie had transcended the role of a mere pet to become a cherished and loyal companion who had irrevocably captured their hearts. This narrative is a poignant testament to the power of compassion and loyalty. 
Have you ever taken in a distressed animal and made it a cherished member of your home, or have you been a witness to a touching moment between a pet and a young child, we invite you to share your experiences in the comments section below.